So y'all know I could not give you my thoughts on the rest of these episodes since I watched them and I was in shock and in horror on most of them. I am your girl, Talisa Ray. What's up? How you doing, Ray of Sunshines? We are reviewing Snowfall, season number two, episode number seven. If it's your first time visiting my channel, what up though? Go ahead, click that red subscribe button to become a Ray of Sunshine and that notification bell because you don't wanna miss any of my videos because I will be consistent eventually. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, so we're just going to review. We're not going to do like a recap and review like we normally do. I still am probably going to do them segmented, but it's going to be a lot quicker. It's not going to be in depth because I really just want to share my thoughts and my feelings about what happened in episode seven uh, and then in eight. <clears throat> so let's talk about Teddy. Um, well, remember in six, uh, Lorena was following them. She was trying to nab the supplier, the two white boys. And it has been confirmed by Teddy to Matt that it is the DEA that is following them. And Matt is like, uh, got astray, like we needed it or whatever. But he's all like, we need to get on the plane and we need to go check it out and see what's up. Um, but when they get to the hangar, the Diego brothers are waiting for them and are not allowing Matt to take Teddy to DC. He, they're saying you could get on co a commercial flight because Matt is our collateral until you get shit together because you have not uh, ordered any supplies. You have not given us any money. We need some assurance that you guys aren't really trying to run and you're going to come back for your brother. And I, I remember seeing this and thinking to myself, Ooh, this isn't, this isn't good. Matt is too square and unsuspecting, uh, though he's got wits about him and he can maneuver his way through stuff. This is going to be a bit too much. Uh, it hurt my feelings how they snatched him up. <laughs> I just really felt bad about it, but it wasn't much going on in Teddy and Matt's world this episode. Everything happened in episode eight, so we'll come back to them. Let's talk about Lucia. Okay, let's talk about C Lucia. There were two big things that happened surrounding Lucia. Both of one threw me for a little bit of a loop, the other one not so much, okay? Let's talk about Kevin, okay? He decided to go ahead and betray his friend, his words, not mine, and give up the fucking recipe for crack. He decided that that was the right thing to do, to betray his friend so that he could find the murderers of Victor and Delroy. Like, I, we knew that he was going to do it when they first came to it. We all said it. But I was really hoping that he would have had some kind of loyalty about him. But he didn't have any loyalty about him. And I just was totally disgusted by him. I don't know how you guys felt about it. Uh, we all knew that it was going to happen. Do you think that Kevin did the right thing in his mind? Absolutely in his mind. Was it the right thing in everybody else's mind? Hell no. You know, because he really wanted to be in control and be the big man. He really, uh, the whole time, even before the slap from Franklin and all of that shit, he was really in his feelings. But then, but then, okay, <laughs> uh, Soledad, a.k.a. Lorena, was ready to arrest Gustavo and Lucia. But they had a plan. Um, they told them that they knew the recipe now and they were gonna meet with Gabriella. So they were gonna also be able to, you know, that it's time for the drop. So Soledad got guilt, got greedy. She got greedy and she was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So Lucia and Osa, Os uh, Gustavo were very, very quick thinking or slick in their thinking. Gustavo, you stay here with Soledad. Pedro's going to go with me. I'm going to show Pedro how to cook. You know, oh, Gabriella only wants family and also is not family yet. You know, oh, and neither is Soledad. She's not family yet, so we're going to go. You know, she was like, I'm going to deal with my cousin directly myself. I'm going to handle him myself. And you know, and at this point, I'm She's still a boss bitch to me. She's handling the shit herself. She's not relying on Gustavo to 
save her, to help her, to do her dirty work. Because she gets Pedro by himself, honey, and gets to questioning him and gets to saying, you know, she was giving him the benefit of the doubt, which we know she should not have been. All the evidence proves that he's a snitch. And she was saying that, you know, Soledad is some kind of police. Your fiance is a police officer and blah, blah, blah. And he comes clean and says, she's DEA. I went to her. I was in fear of my life. I walked in. I made a deal. Murder, she wrote. Hey, murder, she wrote. That nigga is dead. The snitch is dead. I, when she pulled that gun out and killed him, I had zero feelings. I did not care. I was like, shit, that's what happens with snitches. Snitches get ditches. No, snitches get stitches. Snitches be in ditches. Child, I'm a square. I'm not too sure. But y'all know what I'm talking about. She shot him. But then what did kind of stab her was uh, Pedro saying, you are turning out to be the monster your dad knew you would be. That's still his fate. That's what killed him. If he had shut his mouth, she probably still would have tried to work something out. But no. So I didn't feel no kind of way. Did you feel some kind of way? Let me know down below in the comments what you felt, how you felt, if it was a good or bad feeling for you. The snitch is dead. That's what I have written. Let's talk about Franklin. Well, when we see them, they're going to see the Godfather. They're watching the Godfather, and it's a good question. Why is uh, Al Pacino speaking differently than everybody else? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> he takes them out to the beach because they ain't never been nowhere. They ain't never did nothing. They never seen nothing past. Probably Crenshaw. One of them said that, okay? <clears throat> if y'all know like I know, it's probably the truth. And Crenshaw was probably pushing it. They probably passed Western. Um, nonetheless, Kevin was in his feelings a little bit about what he was going to do, what he needed to do, what he thought he was going to do. He was in a quandary about how... Or, or his betrayal of his friend. He's about to give up the recipe because, you know, he needs vengeance. He needs to vindicate his cousin, his workers, because those were his workers, you know. So I, I seen it in his face. Did y'all see it in his face or no? Am I tripping? Then we see, we go to Claudius, and um, a party is getting ready to be getting thrown. And the party isn't thrown by Claudia. It's thrown for somebody in the drag community that has the virus. Okay, this is in the 80s. Now, remember, it wasn't as prevalent as it is now, where everybody knew what it was, where there were certain drugs, and you knew how important it was. Like, people were still all about free love, meaning no condoms and unprotected sex and just sleeping with everybody. And at that time, it was a gay person's disease still. So she was throwing a party. She, Louie, was throwing a party. Um, and this was one of the biggest things that happened. This was one of the biggest things that happened. But before I finish that off, because it was probably the biggest thing for Franklin, uh, Wanda, Leon's girlfriend, threw a party, took the crack without permission, was getting high off of their supply. She was stealing from them, giving it freely. It wasn't like she was that they were paying for it. I thought that this was going to be like the introduction of the crack houses, but no. She is a crackhead. She on that shit strung out. Like if she didn't steal a little bit, she stole a lot of it. Like I'm looking at this going, okay, Leon, now what you gonna do? You gonna be with this girl still? Now what you gonna do? He told Franklin he was gonna handle it, but I didn't feel like he handled it. <laughs> it's hard to do um, seven now after reviewing nine and watching eight. I didn't feel like he was going to do it. I'm trying to look at my notes and see what I was thinking. Um, but back to Claudia and Louis. Claudia was in her feelings about how successful the party was to the point that she embarrassed Louis in front of Laurent by telling her business, saying she was a trick and she didn't know nothing. And I took her off the streets and I cleaned her up and I showed her how to be who she is and all of this stuff. And I was embarrassed for Louis in front of Laurent. And Laurent was like, okay, you're giving all kinds of tea, but 
Why? You aired all her dirty, dirty laundry. Why? And so, um, you can see Louis was visibly upset and embarrassed and hurt, and she vocalized that to her. And later on, Louis and Claudia got into a big argument about it. She was saying how you trying to steal my club, you know, uh, you still that same young girl. I got you from Franklin. You still like a hoe. And, you know, Louis like, I want you for you. Why can't you understand that? And Louis really trying to, 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 to uh, diffuse the situation at this point. But Claudia is really not having it. She is antagonizing the shit out of her. And Louis pushes her. And now, bit what, bitch, or whatever. And Claudia gets up and pushes her back. And then here comes the brawl of all brawls for Snowfall, okay? They get to tussling and fighting on the floor. I mean, like, like you would do if you fight. Like, these ain't two people that's in love. This is like two bitches that hate each other. And I thought Claudia was dead. When she got hit in the back of the head and it hit the ground, I thought she had died. But she just went unconscious, as we found out later. I thought she was dead. Because when she went to, <clears throat> when she called Jerome and made that phone call to Jerome, we found out that Claudia was in the hospital. I was expecting her to be dead. Now I'm wondering, though, what kind of beef are they going to have with Claudia over this shit? Do y'all think it's going to be some beef or nah? Let me know down below in the comments. Oh, shit, that was it. Okay, wait, so this is only this was only 13 minutes? So you telling me that I could re I could review something in 13 minutes? I don't feel like I gave you all of me though, though, you know? I don't think I gave you all of me because it's me just reviewing shit you've seen and you kind of know how I feel about some stuff. Like I really, that fucking Wanda, like real life, your boyfriend introduced you to it. Like Leon wasn't a crackhead, but did she have an addictive personality already? I think she might have. She was addicted to Leon. People with addiction, addictive personalities tend to get addicted easily to things that make them feel good, especially when shit ain't going right. She kept hollering, it's my product. I'm the one that cooks it. It's my product, bitch. That ain't your product. I'm shocked they didn't fuck her up. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that because Peaches was going to get with her. I'm shocked they didn't fuck her up. I'm shocked. I'm honestly, honest to God, shocked they didn't fuck her up. Well, you can let me know what you think about episode seven down below in the comments. I am your girl, Talisa Ray. Thank you so much for watching my review of Snowfall, season number two, episode number seven, uh, The Offer. Hugs and kisses and lots of love. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.